Hey guys, Sean here. Today I'm going to show you how to play Someone New by Banks. Kind of a different sound for her. We're using some acoustic guitar in this one, playing some seventh chords, some jazzy shapes. Check the description, you're going to find a link to the tabs down there. Of course, you'll also see my social media links and hit that subscribe button too if you learned something today and you want to learn some more awesome tunes in the future. I'm going to zoom in now so we can check this one out. So we're going to start on the chord progression for the intro and for the verse. They both share the same chord progression. It goes like this. A major 7 to F sharp minor to C sharp minor 7 to E sus 4 and E. Here's how you make these shapes. A major 7 goes like this. Your first finger on fret 5 of the low E string. Your second finger on fret 5 of the B string. Your third and fourth fingers on fret 6 of the D and G strings. Just play those four notes. You can pluck it and you can strum it. That's an A major 7 shape. F sharp minor goes like this. Take your first finger bar across the second fret of all six strings. Your second finger helps out the first to really hammer down those notes and your third and fourth fingers are on fret four of the A and D strings. Strum all six strings for that one and that's the sound of an F sharp minor chord. Okay, C sharp minor goes like this. Your first finger bars across fret four from the A to high E strings. Your third finger is on fret six of the D string and your second finger on fret five of the B string. Strum the A to high E strings, that gives you a C sharp minor 7 chord. We're going down to E sus 4. You play it like this, your second finger on fret 2 of the A string, your third finger on fret 2 of the D string, your fourth finger on fret 2 of the G string. That's the sound, strum all 6. To make an E major chord, just take your pinky off and add your first finger to fret 1 of the G string two chords sound like that together that's usually what you hear your sus4 chord go to is your major chord shape E sus4 to E just like you know D sus4 to D or A sus4 to A those are all very common moves and we see it in this song okay we got the shapes down for the verse and for the intro. Here's how we're going to pick it. Now, for this tune, most of the picking is improvised, meaning there's, yeah, a general feel for it, but most of the time when you hear it, like when it's looped, you're not going to hear it the same way twice. So I'm going to give you a recommended pattern, and it's going to be in the description, and here's what it's going to be. On the A major 7 chord, play the low E and the B strings together. And then you're going to go D, G, B, E, D, and G and B together. Like that. One and two and three and four. Going to F sharp minor, here's what to play for this one. Playing again the E and B strings together. Going to the D string, to the G string, to the high E string, to the D string again, G, and then B. One and two and three going to C sharp minor, play the A and B strings together, so after that you're going to go D, G, high E, and then D, G, B. You can play these with whatever fingers you like, keeping your bass notes to your thumb and your top notes to your fingers. Um, for the E sus4, we're going to do this. Uh, that's going to be, so we're playing the E and the G string together. Playing B and high E after that, coming back to the B string, 
switching out your sus4 for your regular E chord right on that last note. At least that's what happens on the first round before we get to the verse. So you can play around with that on the second, third, fourth, fifth times around. Okay, so again, for most of the song, those patterns are improvised. Once you have the main the main sound down, you can you can play whatever patterns that have the same accents or the same kind of feel to them. So you're gonna play that chord progression around once for the intro, four times for the verse, and then at the end of the verse, you're gonna just hold out that E chord before going on to the chorus. So now the chord progression for the chorus goes like this. F sharp minor to A major seven to D major seven down to B minor seven. Those first two shapes, we know how to make those already. D major seven though goes like this. Your first finger on fret five of the A string, your third finger on fret seven of the D string, second finger on fret six of the G string, your fourth finger on fret seven of the B string. Just strum those four together. That's a D major 7. B minor 7 is the same exact shape as C sharp minor 7. You're just going to move it down two frets and that makes a B minor 7 chord. So I'm on 2, 4, 2, 3, 2 from the A to high E strings. B minor 7. Okay. Same situation, we're going to pluck these chords out, finger pick them, here's what's going on for this. Now, you can do this if you like, but for each chord I'm going to anticipate with an open E string or on like the B minor 7 and open A so it's F sharp minor playing the E and B strings together. D, G, B, or high E. D, G, B. Open E string to an A major 7 shape. So for this time, I'm going to do it like this. Play the B and E strings together. Go to D, G, high E which is going to have the same sound as that B string, but the open string just have a, has a little bit different timbre to it. And then go D, G, B. Open E string gets us to our D major chord. You can do it like this, the A and B strings together. D, G, B, A, D, G, and B, something like that. Open A string gets us to our B minor shape. So maybe A and B together, D, G, E, A, G, B, just making it up kind of. You want those two notes together, the outside of the chords first, 
then you want a high note on the and one and two and that's the general feel is like two notes together on the and beat have a high note the and of two you want a top note So you can just play around with the pattern. I'm going to have a very specific pattern in the description so you can click down there and get a link to those tabs. But that's the chord progression. You play it three times around. F sharp minor 7 or F sharp minor to A major 7 to D major 7 to B minor 7. Three times around. Then you're on to the next verse. The next verse is the same thing. You play that A major 7 to F sharp minor to C sharp minor 7 to E, sus4 E. Now, for that one, you might want to play E up here. And then have the sus4 like that. I know that happens at the very end. So here's how to make this shape. Your first finger is on fret seven of the A string. Your third finger is on fret nine of the D, G, and B strings. That makes an E chord. Add your fourth finger to fret 10 of the B string. Gives you that sus4 sound. So when you're coming out of that verse, you might wanna go. Something like that happens where you're going up the chord with the sus4 and then down the chord, regular major shape. Okay, so otherwise, same progression the whole time. And then you're on to another chorus, three times around our chorus chord progression, F sharp minor to A major 7, D major 7 to B minor 7, and then we're on to the bridge. So for the bridge, we're going to play this cool chord progression of D major 7, add 6, and then an A major 9. Here's how these two chords are made. Your first finger bars across fret 2 of the B and high E strings. Add your third finger to fret 4 of the G string and an open D string and that's going to make that first chord D major 7 add 6 I want to say and you play it like this you're going to go D and high E string together then kind of go B, G, E, B, G, E, B. Start over again. D and E together. And then... You're making an A major 7 shape without your second finger. So now it has an open B string. You're going to play the E and G strings together to the D the B to the G, D, B, G. And then you start over again. So it's E and G together, followed by D, B, G, D, B, G, D, B. I think I got that wrong. Don't put that extra B at the end. How the bridge is going to go, you go back and forth between that D chord and that A chord. Each one of them ends up being two measures long if you play the pattern twice. And um, after that we have another chorus, three times around our chorus chord progression. You know how that goes. And then another verse which is going to act as our outro. So using the verse chord progression as the end of the song and then we're going to end on an A major 7 chord. 
So if you got any questions, put them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. My name is Sean. Hit that subscribe button if you want lessons like this every day. I'm coming out with one lesson every day. Or I try to, you know, some days I don't I don't make one, but it happens. Thanks for watching. I appreciate all your support, and I'll see you tomorrow with another lesson.